Welcome back to Living Local. It is time to check in with Movie Mike once again for what's new in theaters. Mike Schultz, arts editor for the River Cities Reader, is with us once again for a view of some of the old movies. Look at some of the new movies. Yeah, let's or do movie. it. We'll get to that. Movie, yeah, yeah, just exactly. One, just one this week. Uh, but first, we'll talk about last week's movie, kind of what you liked, what you yeah. didn't like. And, uh, I had... liked something a lot last week. Yeah. If Beale Street could talk. Tell us about um, it. This is Phenomenal. It's mm -hmm. by Barry Jenkins, who did Moonlight, which won a bunch of Oscars, of course, a few years back. Yeah. It's an adaptation of a James Baldwin novel from 1974, I believe. Mm. It's about two young people in Harlem who are in love, and uh, the, the gentleman uh, is framed for a crime in the area that he didn't commit, is sent mm. to prison. We find out the girlfriend is pregnant, and it's kind of all about freeing him from jail while the families kind of take care of, of her. It is a beautiful, it's, it looks like La La Land of all things. It is yeah. these gorgeous primary and secondary colors, and it's, it's framed in this very intimate uh, way. It's, uh, but it's thrilling and dramatic and funny and really romantic. Mm -hmm. Beautiful performances, uh, Kiki Lane and Stephen James are the leads, Regina King, who's yeah. winning Awards say, everywhere. Yeah. Oh, she's so good. Um, Brian Tyree Henry, who's on the show Atlanta, mm -hmm. has about 10 minutes in this movie that are kind of just jaw droppingly beautiful really? that you just can't believe mm. what he's pulling off. Um, I loved it. I would yeah. see it again and again. Yeah, I was I watching the trailer there. I was, mm -hmm. I was just about to comment on the cinematography alone. Oh, looks. it's spectacular. Yeah. And the music is great. It's by mm -hmm. it's by a lot of the same people who worked on Moonlight, uh, as far as cinematographer and the composer. Yeah. Um, it's just glorious. Awesome. It's great. All right, I'm yeah, going to check that one out check that for out. sure. It's good. Alrighty, and a dislike of yours was The Upside. The Upside. Okay, The Upside <laughs> isn't terrible. It really isn't. This one has Kevin Hart uh, taking care of a kind of a small-time crook who takes care of quadriplegic Brian Cranston. Yeah. It's a buddy comedy. You know what's going to happen. I mean, the, the rich guy is going to learn to appreciate, you know, the joys of, uh, you know, of Aretha Franklin and Kevin Hart's going to learn to appreciate the joys of opera. Uh, but there's yeah. a certain there's a certain depression that comes when you're not going to get any surprises for an yeah, hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. You know, it just kind of it drains you of, of interest. Okay. And so you kind of watch this movie hit all the expected beats. And there's there's nothing else to do. It's mm. not that funny. It's not very. They're not really. They're okay together, but they're not really moving or anything. Interesting. Nicole Kidman shows up and is completely wasted. She's just has an insulting role. Really? It's just mm. a drag. Okay. Yeah. And it made a lot of money. Yeah. It did really well. Yeah. And I get why because it's got an easy premise and Kevin Hart's great in yeah. general. Cranston's wonderful. Just a miss. It's just a little too easy. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. Well, you saved me some money, so thank hey, you. Yeah, right. I do what I can for you. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead to the new one this week, and uh, this is uh, actually a sequel, and also a sequel. It's a double it's sequel. It's a double sequel that yeah. you didn't know was coming. Yeah. Glass. This was surprising. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a sequel to M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable from the year 2000. Yeah. And also a sequel to Shyamalan's Split from 2017. It is a, it, I know, it's a gigantic, uh, basically a superhero movie without costumes. It, yeah. It <laughs> features uh, Bruce Willis uh, in the first film Unbreakable. Discovered he was a superhero when he survived a terrible crash. Uh, he has the powers of invincibility and he can also touch people and kind of uh, know what their past crimes were. He's yeah. got some six, six, six cents. cents there. Oh, and there I'm going to add it again. And uh, <laughs> then you have James McAvoy from Split, who is a Split personality. He has, I think, 17 different characters living in him. Yeah. One of whom is called The Beast, who has all these superpowers and can climb walls and jump around real fast. Yeah. And so this movie pairs them together, puts them all into an insane asylum uh, where I guess you get the beginnings of a new superhero and supervillain yeah. kind of conflagration. Yeah, Could be crazy. It, yeah, this looks... Actually, it looks phenomenal. It I, looks like a lot of fun. I, James McAvoy. I know you haven't seen. Split I haven't yet. seen it. I'm dying to see it. J James McAvoy is so good in that. He's yeah. so much fun. Uh, and Samuel L. Jackson returns from as his character from Unbreakable. Yeah. Um, kind of the uber villain of the piece. Uh, Sarah Paulson, who is amazing in everything Always. she does. Yeah. Uh, could be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah. I think Split might be a Friday night movie. And then we'll wait till Tuesday when it's cheap and go see the Perfect. Yeah, there That's the way to go. Right. Okay, nicely Perfect. done. All right. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to talk about the Oscars. Yeah, the they're coming. Oscar buzz. Uh, we're going to kind of go through some of your early predictions. You posted okay. a phenomenal article on rcreader.com about the predictions. That. And uh, we're going to run through those really quick. First up is Best Actor, okay. um, Rami Malik. Is it Malik? is how you yeah, say I think it? Yeah, that's right. Bradley Cooper, Christian Bale, Viggo Mortensen, and John David Washington mm -hmm. are your predictions for who's going to get the nomination. That seems really solid to me. Me. That's yeah. the exact same lineup uh, that is nominated for SAG Awards that are upcoming mm -hmm. in the next couple weeks. They were all nominated for Golden Globes. They're all the 
the very central figures of five very strong best picture yeah. candidates. Uh, that one just seems good. And the other options that you could go to, I think, are all in kind of smaller, artsier films that maybe not everybody saw or liked. Yeah. Uh, like Ethan Hawke or Willem Dafoe or uh, John C. Riley. So um, that one feels done to me. I'm almost I'm almost never confident about these yeah. predictions. That one feels good. All righty. Yeah. So that means it might be way off. We'll see. Exactly That's right. That's, That's exactly problem. what's going to happen. Who would you say so, is your pick for probably going to For win. winning it? Yeah. Mm, that one's rough. Yeah, I'm is. kind of leaning towards Christian Bale right now. Really? But I could easily see Rami Malek and... My heart is going with Bradley Cooper. If it, but Bradley Cooper doesn't get. I don't care if any Star Wars Born doesn't win any other awards. If Bradley Cooper does not get Best Actor, I'll, I'll be upset I'll be too. Upset. But I do understand that they tend to go for <laughs> more prosthetics, and they, they tend to. I mean, yeah. and then you got yeah, Christian Bale and Rami Malek, both. You know. Yeah. What's she gonna do? Yeah. Well, but I guess Bradley Cooper, I'm yeah. with you. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Best Actress. We have Glenn Close, Olivia Coleman, Lady Gaga, Melissa McCarthy, and Julia Roberts. Mm -hmm. uh, four of five of those feel really secure. The one I'm not sure about is Julia Roberts. The Dark Horse. A dark mm -hmm. Horse, indeed. Um, certainly an Academy favorite. I mean, she's won before for Aaron Brockovich, been nominated a lot. But yeah. not a lot of people saw Ben is back in time, yeah. for certainly for Globe nominations or SAG nominations. She's been ignored all season long. Mm -hmm. but but it feels weird to ignore Julia Roberts. <laughs> you can't do it. Especially when she's so, so good in that movie. Yeah. And it, it opened wide at exactly the right time. Um, I just learned this recently that Oscar voting is really only a seven day period. Mm -hmm. So you they start like, on the, I think it was this year, the seventh, and it ends on the 14th. And Ben is back opened, I think, on the 10th or 11th. I mean, okay. so it opened right in the middle of voting yeah. when people might be more aware of, oh, you know, I haven't thought about Julia Roberts. So, okay, interesting. Yeah. Now your pick for that one, what do you think? I think that's Glenn Close. Mm -hmm. Based almost solely on the Golden Globes when she sh when she won and was clearly shocked. Yeah, did not expect that to happen. But if she gets nominated for this, this will be her seventh Oscar nomination. Wow, dating back to 1982. Huh. So it's been 36 years. No, she's won Tony Awards and Emmys, of course, but no Oscars yet. All and right. that's, so there's a good narrative behind that win. Yeah, Leonardo, sure. Dicap Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, yeah, exactly right. There, Give it to sure. Glenn. All wow. right. <laughs> now, best director. We'll run through these real quick okay. as well. Alfonso uh, Cuarón. Mm -hmm. I believe Spike Lee, Bradley Cooper for A Star is Born. He's also a director in that. Yargos Lanthimos. That's right. Is that right? And yeah. Barry Jenkins. Yeah. Uh, this one I feel absolutely unconfident about. Okay. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> I'm feeling good about uh, Alfonso Cuaron, who might win this, uh, I think, in the end. Um, Bradley Cooper is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Spike Lee, for the love of Pete, it's, it's time. Yeah, He's yeah. never been nominated. He's another one that needs Which it. is ridiculous yeah. for a 30-year-plus career. And he made a phenomenal movie. And a Black phenomenal movie. Yeah. That movie's so great. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, but I'm going with Yorgos Lanthimos and Barry Jenkins because I'm selfish and that's the ones I want. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, but the smart money actually is more for Adam McKay for Vice yeah. um, or Peter Farrelly for the, for Green Book. I just watch those movies and it, it doesn't feel like they've been directed that much. Mm. I mean, basically action and go. Okay. Um, and so, I, I, yeah. But again, it's, I'm, by, I'm a, not a fan. So okay. <laughs> I'm going with the other ones All instead. Right. One of these days, one of my personal picks is going to make it in. All right. Well, yeah. let's hope it's this time. I hope so. Uh, okay. Yeah. Last but most certainly not least, best picture. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got nine of them you've picked because they vary in how many they yes. select. A Star is Born, Roma, The Favorite, Black Klansman, Green Book, Black Panther, Bohemian Rhapsody, If Beale Street Could Talk, and Vice. Yeah. Starting in uh, 2012, they changed the rules so that anywhere from five to ten could be nominated in any given year. Okay. Since then, it's always been eight or nine. Okay. Completely. I think this year it's going to be nine. I think it's going to be those nine. I don't. I don't see what else gets in. Yeah. Really. Um. And I don't quite see what gets left out, to be honest, because okay. all nine of those feel like they have really passionate support. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a uh, lot of fans. Um. They've all got kind of pockets of support that makes them kind of individual from the others. They all kind of stand out nicely. Um, and they're all pretty good. I mean, I, I think I love six of them. Yeah. And the other three I'm fine with. Okay. So I'd be okay with that. All right, That's we'll all right. see. And uh, I mean, I'm hoping a Star is Born is win. But I'm hoping a Star is Born we'll wins see. too, but I'm, I'm thinking it might be Roma, Roma, which would be really, really strange. That's another one I need to check out. Uh, you really should. It's, it's mm -hmm. wonderful. And it's on Netflix. You can see it anytime you want. Um, but it would be the first foreign language film I, ever in 91 okay. years to win the Oscar. It'd be amazing. Yeah, uh, but if anyone could do it, it's that one. It's it's uh, it's really well done All and right. it's accessible. It 
it's something you could watch and, and not be afraid mm. of the subtitles. Yeah, there so, you go. Yeah. Cool. All right, looking forward to it. I hope you're right. We'll I see. hope so, too. We'll, right. we'll talk next week. Thanks, absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right, in review, the movies coming out uh, this week are Glass, the only one, but also uh, they will release the Oscar nominations on Tuesday. And you can read Mike's movie reviews inside the latest reader on stands everywhere and online at rcreader.com. And we're going to have all this posted on rquadcities.com. We'll be back with more Living Local after this.